Hey guys, Merritt here from EV West. Today we're gonna to go over how to install our Hyper 9 end bell that allows for mounting from the rear face onto your motor. If you purchase the end bell from us along with your motor, we will install the end bell here for you. If not, this is gonna be the kind of the step-by-step -step on how to do so at your house. Step one, you wanna get the motor supported to where it's not gonna fall over, roll over anywhere, just kind of be nice, safe, and secure. And you're gonna start with taking off the phase block. To do so, you're gonna to wanna to take out your actual phase leads, the bolts for that, which is a 17 mil. After removing those, you're gonna to wanna to take off the brass lock washer. It's actually a 21 mil, and I've actually modified a socket to fit the clearances because it is fairly tight. Once those are removed, you're gonna to wanna to install the phase lead bolts back in in order to press out the end of the phase leads. They're secured in by a swedge fit, so you're gonna have to tap them out just to free them up. You grab a little rubber mallet and kind of tap on the bolts. You'll see them set back and free up, and then you can remove the bolts. Once your phase leads are free, you can then remove the five millimeter Allen bolts from the corners. phase block comes off. Be careful with your wire, you wanna lay that straight down. Then you can move on, once that's done, to removing your encoder off the end of the motor. Once that's out of the way, you can continue by removing the six outer five mil Allen wrench holding the end cap on. When you have all six bolts removed, you can then use a small three bolt puller, bearing puller, to pull the actual center bearing, the support bearing, out and the carrier will, the whole end bell will come with it. You wanna be sure in this stage you can use a socket or something that will actually go around the encoder end to where you don't damage it when you pull the end bell off. And slowly work your way down and the bearing will end up popping itself out. Slowly remove the end 
go for the face leads. Careful with your wire. And your bearing should be able to pull right out of the factory end though. You wanna make sure if you have any little debris or shavings, you wanna make sure you blow those out, make sure there's no debris in your motor. And also remember to take out your plastic insert. There you go. And that's the removal of the factory Hyper 9 end bell. Once you're ready to install the new billet end bell, you're actually gonna, the first step, you're gonna to wanna to put the bearing into the new end bell. But to do so, you're gonna actually wanna take a, a torch or heat and you're gonna to wanna to heat the end bell up. That way it's gonna expand the aluminum just enough to drop the bearing into the end. We just use a little map gas torch, heat it up for a couple seconds. Once the bearing's seated all the way down, you'll want to use compressed air or something to kind of cool it off to where it's not just going to be hot on the bearing. All right, once you have your bearing installed in the new end bell and you've cooled the end bell back down, you're gonna to wanna to take the original plastic insert, the dust shield, and it should snap right back into the new end bell. Once that's snapped in, you can reassemble this onto the motor. You wanna make sure you feed your wire through the end and chase it by the phase leads. And center the bearing up on the motor shaft. It won't quite seat all the way down, so what you can do is you can start mounting the six bolts on the outside and kind of walk it down evenly, and then you might have to use a press, a hydraulic press if you have one, or another form of press to press the bearing down over the motor shaft. I'll usually go in a star pattern just to make walking everything on nice and even. I'll usually bring everything snug with the impact and then I'll follow everything up by hand with a ratchet just so I know it's snug. Once the outer bolts are complete, you can go ahead and start reinstalling the phase block. You want to mount the four outer Allens first. Once again, I'll follow these up by hand.
To get the phase leads pulled back through, I'll use one of the bolts, screw it back into the end, and you can kind of wiggle it back and forth to get it started enough to get the copper nut, lock nut back on it. You want to reinstall the copper lock nuts. And you can just snug these up. You don't want to go too tight to strip them out, but you can feel it kind of reseat into the block. Once that's complete, you can reinstall the phase lead screws. And like I said before, to seat the bearing all the way in, we actually use our hydraulic press, but if you have the other means to do that, you could use a socket and a hammer and kind of tap it down into place. But right now we'll go ahead and head over and use our press to press these in. Once you have your motor and the end bell set up in the press or however else you want to do it, you can just make sure you grab the outer edge of the bearing. Make sure you're nice and even. It doesn't take much, but you just want to make sure your bearing is actually pressed flush with the end bell. We'll go a little bit more. That should be good. And that's down where it needs to be. Once you get your bearing pressed in, nice and flush with the end of the end bell here, we go ahead and reinstall our encoder and the hold down support tabs. You want to make sure you have your encoder positioned correctly to where the cable can go through the relief in the end bell, which is nice because it'll actually sit flush underneath the mount that you will fabricate for the other end of your motor. And grab the second tab, install that one. We'll go ahead and chase these guys down. and then we'll just snug those up by hand. Once you get those all nice and snugged, just double check everything, make sure you have everything nice and tight, and that's gonna conclude the installation of the end bell for the Hyper 9 single shaft motors.